Those are people that are following us. The man called the mecca and he came here last year. Uninvited. I never invited him. I don't invite people to come Zion. I don't do I don't do something on film. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wait, I don't do anything stage manage. Are you hearing me? I don't stage manage anything, miracle, prophecy. I have never arranged before. I started prophesying at the age of eight years. So whenever you hear from my mouth, you are healed, you are healed. Whenever you hear from my mouth, you are delivered, you are delivered. The man who came, of course, you know Zion ministry, many big men, senators come here and they sit down like every other person. In Zion ground, no special share for anybody. Confess, you sit down. The young man who came, I don't even know his name as of that time because I don't, I don't watch movies. So when he came, he was sitting down over there at the back. When I saw his face, I recognized his face because he came out to dance. If you watch that video early last year, he was dancing uncontrollable. And because I know his face, I recognize his face, but I don't know his name because I'm not steady watching movies. After his dancing, I was even dancing with him because he, lo he loved how to dance. I know I love people that dance very well, but I don't know how to dance. Amen and amen. amen. So, when he was dancing, I was moved. I was dancing with him. And he came to my ear and said something to me. Man of God, I have been in different churches. There have not been church I have gone to for searching of healing. I said, my name is not I have gone to this church. church. I don't run church. Here is a prayer ground. He now said to me, why I'm saying this tonight is because he has, he has already broadcast it on air. I don't say my personal discussion with people. There are many people that come here that I know they are all caught. Man, their wife is not all caught. I don't tell their wife. There are many people that come here. I know that some of their children are not bound by their husband, but I keep it. My, one of my duties as a prophet is to keep people's privacy. Even if you put gun in my neck, I won't tell you something about another person. I can preach with it, but not to tell you. And not even to mention their name. But because he has broken, he said to my ear, Do you know we, we, here I am, I'm wearing pampas? That I have gone to different churches. I am wearing pampas. I was lying helplessly for almost one year in the different hospital. The boil, now nah, I can be walking small, but the boil is still there. I wear pampas. I am sick. Inside me, I am dying. They have even said on social media that I've died. This thing was happening early, I think, early last year. And I pray for him here. I declare that you're healed. I believe in divine healing. I, be, I believe in medical healing. God can heal in different ways. Some people in the Bible, he, he spats on the sand and rubs their eyes. Some people, he asks them to go and wash their face in the river. God walk heal in different manner. I, de I let her know him. I declare that he's healed and delivered. And the, that day I told him settled from wearing pampas. Amen and amen. After that the upper week he came to see me. He, could, he was unable to see me. He was struggling. He came with his son and daughter into my office. His son and daughter. He came with them that as I'm talking to you, man of God, I have removed the pampas. He told me his son, his second son in Asaba did not come. But he, he came with his daughter and his son. I said, thank God, we just prayed for you, I think two weeks ago. You are saying that you have removed the pampas. After several draws, several going to different places then that day in my office i dashed him six hundred thousand amen because he told me since this sickness i've not been walking when he said he has not been walking since two years and i felt pity i gave him six hundred thousand naira go and be supporting yourself that day was the day he told me but one eyes that is how the eyes is doing me but i'm seeing clearly i'm reading 
But the main thing he told me the day I prayed for him is wearing pampas, which he came with the children and testified that it's over. Now, the issue of uh, eyes, I never knew again. Even after that day, this song now we just read it. He came and danced on that music. Him and um, Rita Idochie. Two of them came and they attended. He was healthy. He was one that even attended it. Two of them. I was so surprised. Was it not last Sunday? I was hearing that somebody told me, is that true that uh, Mecca and his life? Do you know what they did? They went and cornered him. We want to look for something to get Ebuka down. We want to tell the whole world that Ebuka does not have power. That you have gone to this church, they did not hear you. Gone to this church, they did not hear you. Gone to this church, they did not hear you. We are going to the and number one antichrist. Amen and amen. Amen. I don't blame Emekani, but I blame him for descending so low. To answer an antichrist. Let me be honest with you. Now, they told him Ebuka is involved. We must get Ebuka. This is what they discussed within themselves. They call him. His intention is not to insult any man of God, but they lured him into what he don't know. Just because Ebuka is uh, involved, Ebuka is uh, one of the whole world now. So, uh, we are going to raise money. Because they told him they would raise money. They lured him. The same person they are saying on the social media that he's lifeless. Lifeless. And the many bloggers were carrying it that they could pray for Mekani. But now, the God did not heal him. Therefore, Jesus does not heal. He's only medical and medical. My brother, we have seen so many people that fly from America and UK, India to Zion, that their doctors are tired. They came here and they were healed. Whether you go to the highest doctor in the world, if God says you will not be healed, you will not be healed. Or Jesus said, Amen and amen. amen. Why I'm saying this thing is because of some mentality. It's a shame. And the mechanic is the same so low. But I don't know the man of God he says he has visited before. He told me he was healed after the prayer. Then he told me that day that he has visited the men of God. Let's say that those men of God did not hear him. But they have helped you. They gave you money. So he said that one gave you 500,000. One gave you 6 million. The other one gave you 200. And you are sitting with an antichrist. He's insulting those that help you. And you keep silent. Nobody supposed to. It's like you. It's like you speaking against my father. So that you want to help me. Will I accept that help? If somebody is condemning your father and giving you money, will you accept it? Let's say that those men of God did not hear him, but he don't supposed to sit down with Antichrist and they are criticizing the church. Amen and amen. amen. What I'm saying, this is the last time I will talk about this. 